going on YouTube this is Brandon Lee with Toys R coming back at you with another Marvel Legends review this one's on the uh, Hyperion figure uh, his running change is Sentry uh, this one comes with the Hitmonkey arms and uh, two pistols right here look at the packaging very nice artwork on the front which I've alluded to uh, this guy is uh, a part of the many build a figure with the red she-hulk uh, Hyperion and the protector and then the protectors running change is Iron Fist and the red she-hulks uh, running change is the actual she-hulk uh, herself I'm not sure what her name is but uh, this is the back of the package very nice packaging on the back right here I really do like this 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 artwork man I just can't get enough of this artwork so uh, let's just jump into this figure. All right, so uh, this guy out of package is uh, is actually a really badass figure. Um, really like the mold a lot. It's a new body mold by uh, by Hasbro. Let's look at the sculpt on this guy. Not really much uh, on the paint detail, although the line work is nice right here around the uh, the bicep to cut off the. Uh, you know the suit from the arm right there I do like the line work on this figure very nice very clean line work do like the head the hair right here very nice there's a little bit of paint detail in the hair right there it's got a little bit of a, a wash in it not much just a, a light wash right there move the camera closer right here so we get a better look at this guy right there there's that wash I was talking about so really nice looking figure um, I really don't have much of a gripe about this figure I mean really other than finger articulation that'd be nice come on Hasbro bring that bring that stuff back uh, another gripe would be the cape I'll show you all that in a second what uh what happens with that because it really doesn't like to stay down so um, Hyperion is has a very nice shade on his skin his skin tone is very nice um, face sculpt is pretty good when I saw him in package his eyes looked a little messed up yeah this eye right here is a little off from the other one not a big mistake but just a little bit on the uh, the paint side so very nice sculpt I like the sculpt a lot he's got the Hyperion symbol right here yellow and black his base body is red and then he's got this uh, pearlescent uh, gold going on this yellow also he's got that right here on this button looking part right here and then the cape is yellow to match the front very nice uh, paint work I will say that I mean it could have done it could have used some paint detail but a uh, very nice paint work I really like this a lot very bright I like the bright colors as boots are yellow sculpt wise I mean it's it's a good body I'm, I'm excited to see the century so um, let's look at what I was talking about with the cape this cape does come off in two parts there's one pin here's this and then here's another pin right here the cool thing is that I've seen in other people's videos is you can turn the cape to make it look like the winds blowing the cape you know sideways or what whatnot so that's pretty cool it does have peg holes in the back to hook his cape on and his cape is also matched by his muscular back, so it fits in there very nicely. Okay, so we'll plug that in. And there's a trick to doing this. You plug it in all the way like, like it's supposed to be, and this sits up. This isn't supposed to be sitting up. It's actually sculpted 
right here to where it sits on the chest. Like this, it sets off the chest. So, what you do is you pull it out and you just barely put it in there, which is pretty ghetto from Hasbro, but, you know, what do you expect? I mean, it's Hasbro, come on. If you want to keep it in there, if you don't plan on tape, taking this cape off, you can glue it down. I mean, I, I, I would suggest that as well. But that helps it out a little more than just, uh, I mean, you see the gap right there. But putting it up like that helps it stay on there, let's see, stay on there a little better, so. Um, just a little tip for the figure. Uh, let's, uh, let's look at the articulation on this guy. Okay, so let's uh, check out the articulation on this guy. Uh, his head does move very far up for the flight pose, very far down as well, which I like a lot. Um, the shoulders are on the, uh, the ball joint, rotation, in and out. He's got uh, the bicep swivel, he's got double jointed elbows, he's got the wrist articulation, which goes in and out, and 360. He has a very nice flight pose. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing some, uh, some flight stands here pretty soon, so making, making some custom flight stands. But as you can see, this guy goes into a very nice, very nice flight pose. So that, my friends, is a very nice flight pose. I like that a lot. So, very cool for displays, very nice ab crunch, he's got the waist swivel that goes 360, he's on a T-joint, so his leg moves out that far, and it moves out that far, and then he's got a uh, double jointed knees, which I like on the new Marvel Legends uh, figures, they've been adding this a lot, that and the, the elbows, the double jointed elbows, I like that a lot. He's got the calf rotation, he's got the ankle that moves up and down and check this out bam he's got ankle pivot so you can get him in some badass poses he's also got the peg hole on the bottom so you can set him up in some stands so uh yeah that's my review on the Hyperion the build a figure the mini bath um, pieces that it comes with are these two pistols which are very nice very nice pistols. Very nice pistols. No paint, de paint detail on these on these uh, pistols at all. Just your basic black. And then it comes with two hit monkey arms or feet, whatever you want to call them. Whatever you like to call them. I can't get this down. Anyway, it comes with these two arms as well, which I'll be reviewing the hit monkey figure as well. So stay tuned for that. And uh, if you guys like my reviews, Check out my other reviews and hit that like button on this, uh, this screen and rate and share with your buddies and comment and subscribe. Click that subscribe button. You could always use uh, some new subscriptions. Um, this has been Brandon Lee with the Toys R. Hope you guys like my video and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. See his head goes up like this right here. Oh shit. What? Ah! <laughs>